You know what the only thing I'm disappointed about with, with pareidolia is that the word pareidolia doesn't look like something else. It seems like a missed opportunity to make, just like with palindrome, the word palindrome isn't a palindrome and that's unsatisfying. Pareidolia doesn't look like something else and that's also unsatisfying. And I just had that thought. Still, we're gonna look at pareidolia. The subreddit I spelled correctly. We begin with number 19. What the fork are you looking at, buddy? I have, okay, is this a new trend now? I have to ask. I know we're not on a, a car mods video, but I've started seeing these angry, angry Jeep eyes all the time, very recently, and I didn't see them before. Is it like a new trend? Or is there a, a I don't know, some kind of tuning modification house for Jeeps that's just gotten very popular recently? Or was I just not observant at all before? But I've seen the, the angry, the angry light things all over the place. And they always look super angry. And I call them angry because they look angry and apparently they look angry in pareidolia and just barring their teeth, the angry eyes. Yeah, there's also like a Punisher skull on the front. I just feel scared. I, I'm like worried to meet the person who drives this thing. I'm sure they're a nice person, but it's, it's too aggressive. Angry cashews. It looks more like toad. If, if I had to do a, a pareidolia here, looks like angry toad. And this just looks like toad before toad became ripe. The mushroom, it's baby toad. Still has to, do mushrooms get ripe? I don't know what the terminology is for mushrooms. Probably, I didn't actually know that this is what cashews look like as they're growing. Did you know that cashews are extremely high calorie? It seems like a healthy snack, it is a healthy snack, but if you munch on cashews on a daily basis, that's gonna catch up with you. Just some advice tips for your dieting. Hanging naked. <laughs> you use caution when Googling. Alrighty then. Is that the name of the flower or? Okay. <laughs> you probably don't. Don't Google that with, with that exact uh, syntax. They look like they're holding hands and it's very cute. That looks very straining on the neck. It, you know, instead of sitting on a chair and having one of the hair dryer things from a beauty salon put on their head. It's like they're just being suspended by that, strapped in by their neck. But it's working for them, I guess. They're holding hands to help support each other through this strenuous exercise. Very happy, look at that smile on those eyes. Very happy about it. These posts look like they're mad at me. They're probably mad from like a, a bunch of cars attempting to go there and then maybe hitting them. And now they're just like, can you guys not? Can you guys witness our presence and not try to drive here? Thanks. I mean, my, maybe they were put up in the first place because they had people drive over there and then the poll, the posts had to look like, okay, guys, it's like an, it's like an angry staff member at wherever this is. Don't come over here. Okay. Don't talk to me or my son ever again. Hey moon. Hey barn. I get it. I get it. It's a pun. Cause it's like, Hey, it's for horses in a barn. Ha. <laughs> that was a clever title. That was a real clever title. Part of me is very curious if whoever owns that barn purposefully kicked out a piece of wood just so that this effect would be complete. Because without it, it just, just a couple windows. But with the broken plank in there, the whole thing is, is so much better. Good night, moon. Good night. Oh man, I used to be able to recite that by heart probably when I was five. Yo dog, we heard you like pareidolia, so we put two phases in a face so you can watch Batman kissing Batman in front of a sunset. Dude, I didn't realize this until very recently when, when I think someone linked it to me on Twitter. Is it Wolverine or is it two Batmans kissing? And I was like, oh my God, how have I never noticed that? But whoever designed Wolverine had to have noticed that. There's no way they didn't. Maybe they were like, hey, we're Marvel, but I bet we can sneak in a Batman into some of our characters and get away with it. And they're like, not one, but two Batmans. And I know Wolverine doesn't look exactly like this. Uh, it's like slight, but it's it's still very much, it's, it's two Batmans. Also, there is some significant tongue action going on there. They're, it's like, woo, it's a beautiful sunset. I mean, how could you resist? It's like, uh, you know, there's that, that Spider-Man meme of like Spider-Man pointing at Spider-Man. This is the aftermath of that happening with Batman, apparently. <laughs> We're just like enamored with each other. Psst. Hey, kid. 
Now this is reminding me, we're obviously gonna get the trying out VR at X to your friends repost this in every freaking month. Sometimes reposted multiple times within the month, month after month after month. I, we, I get it. I get it. Electrical outlets in the US, they look like a face. And when it's kind of sneaking behind something, it looks like a face sneaking behind something. I get it. That post with the VR thing just makes me not ever want to see electrical outlets again on the subreddit. I get to pass a Muppet every morning. I mean, that's man-made pareidolia right there, I'm pretty sure. I think someone just, you know, saw that opening there and they are like, yeah, gotta go get some googly eyes and, and put them there. This is too good of an opportunity to, to go to waste, so. They probably did the commute for like months waiting for someone else to do that. God damn it, no one is doing this. All right, gotta take matters into my own hands. All right, we're going and getting some massive googly eyes and if I can't find them, I'm making them myself. There we go. And then hopefully whoever made this, they see this post and they're happy that someone acknowledged what they probably thought about for months. Terrifying tomato, just in time for Halloween. That looks like some kind of horror movie character or a child attempting to smile <laughs> with braces, <laughs> trying to do it gracefully. But in fact, it just looks kind of scary because you've got a mouthful of wires and it's not terribly fun, but you're trying. Found a herd of Brachiosauruses at a factory. Yeah. Is that a factory? I don't know if that's what I, this is a factory, that's that's a dock. No, that's why, I, I was thinking, how have I not noticed that in like San Pedro? Because that's like the biggest port on the West Coast and uh, they have a bunch of those things. But they, I think the ones there are like two, two pronged. So it'd be like a, a Siamese twin Brachiosaurus which probably wouldn't have lived very long back in the dinosaur age. A septic tank looks like Rafiki from The Lion King. <laughs> I was looking for, I was initially looking at like, ah, maybe the Iron Giant. You know, we got a mouth here, we got a couple, uh, nope. It's the, it's the pipe in there. Rafiki's, he's just, uh, he's poking out. I don't know why he's in there. Not sure, maybe this is lab where he, he works on, you know, making the stuff with the the this and the and the the shaky stick. It's like everyone who's a big Lion King Disney fan gets mad at me for call, doing the this and the calling it the shaky stick. But you know what I mean, okay? That's that's where he does all the research and development. Okay? He looks very menacingly at anyone who comes upon it. Every time I walk past the stump during our camping weekend, I thought it was a person. That would actually be kind of horrifying to just kind of shine your flashlight dimly over there in the middle of the night and be like, oh my God, I am gonna go back now that I'm getting chills. Am I seeing things? Am I hallucinating? This is how horror movies work. And I'm gonna go now. I don't want any, that's, yeah, no, I'm, or is that Bigfoot? I didn't think Bigfoot was real, but now maybe he's gonna kill me in order to keep up the whole he's not real facade. So I wouldn't want to run into that, I'm gonna be honest. Ugh. This backpack, we've seen a lot of backpacks here on this subreddit. They, for some reason, seem to be good pareidolia gold. I guess when you have some pockets open, it can, can look like some things. Uh, in this case, kind of looks like a cartoon bird. Wearing a wearing a hat. Oh, Dad from the Dinosaurs TV show. That's yeah. That's that's pretty. That's it. That is the character right there. Isn't there the? Uh, I feel like I know that mostly from the video of footage from that synced to like the Biggie song. Is that what? I think it's a Biggie song, and it's a great it's a great video. But I never watched the show actually. This hunk of bread. <laughs> All right. Be honest. Did you add that little tear in there yourself? I see a finger indentation right there, all right? I think you added the mouth for extra comedic effect, but it's kind of cheating. It's gotta be naturally occurring. You can't you can't be like, oh, I'll add a mouth in here. Nobody will notice. They'll notice the finger indentation. Still though, it's a, a strong piece of bread. Dudes, he's, he's got some serious, serious core right there. I'm assuming this is kind of just a torso up 
sort of thing and that it's not just Jabba the Hutt flexing. It could also just be Jabba the Hutt flexing and he's just, that's, it moves around, kind of slithers on the ground. Sun's out, gun's out. Trees and Aspen, don't do acid here. Yeah, that's that's not a new pareidolia for me actually. When it's Whenever you go snowboarding, well, I don't know any, if it's everywhere you go snowboarding, but it seems like, at least in Utah, because that is immediately what comes to mind with these. It's, uh, yeah, just a lot of eyes in the trees. It's, it's kind of, it's just like, it is what it is. It's so commonplace that you kind of just like, yep. But maybe it's not as commonplace elsewhere. And it's like, whoa, look at all those eyes. But I don't actually know, do they grow that way? Or is that because the, the staff at ski resorts chop off all the branches on them so that nobody gets caught on them? I think it's because the branches actually get trimmed off. So it's technically man-made pareidolia not for the sake of being pareidolia, but for the sake of safety, you just end up with a bunch of eyes. Also, don't quote me on that though, because maybe I'm wrong and that's how they grow. Lava. I think I've seen this before. I don't know if it was on this subreddit, but now I'm getting very self-conscious about reacting in the same way. So what should I say here? I'm gonna think, I'm gonna think. If you're wondering what I'm talking about, over on Captain Sparkle's channel, when I do my subreddit and videos on there, people will, take two simultaneous like they'll they'll take when i reacted to something way back the first time and then when i don't realize i've reacted to it before and react to it again they'll put them up side by side and oftentimes they match really well but now i'm self-conscious about it it looks like a lot of humans getting sucked into a glowing portal to heck and also though when you look closely it doesn't look like any of these individually are humans but all together for some reason it really does look like humans and it's terrifying and that is all because now we're gonna get these montage together lighter choir very happily singing uh, songs and then there's there's the one that's upside down right here that looks very looks very happy I, just, I wouldn't want to ruin the whole arrangement. Maybe I'd pick that one out. Although I'd have no use for a lighter, really. Uh, do I? No, nope, don't own a lighter. It could probably come in handy for something. If if something ever needed to be lit on fire. But don't really use it. But if I did, grab the one that's out of place. Also, I'd put you there. And then put another one from the top there. Just so it's all uniform. Because the non-uniformity over here is not as nice. Not sure if this has been posted, but these cuddling buildings, it looks very one-sided here. I'm not sure if the building on the left is really into this. Looks like building on the right is being like real, I want a hug and building on the left is like just permanently in the awkward, like I didn't expect a hug right now. So uh, now you're just, my arms are locked to the side while you're, <laughs> you're hugging me. <laughs> like, ah. Uh. And also it's like the building on the left is a head taller, so just like looking down awkwardly, like, okay, I'm stuck in this position now. But also I, pre I appreciate the affection, but I'm being suffocated. Or maybe it's just like the blankie or a planky. It's just the, the bedtime thing, the, the friend, the inanimate friend that keeps the building on the right company. It's like the plank from Ed, Ed and Eddie holding on to it okay well anyway that's it for the last month of pareidolia hope you've enjoyed make sure to like if you like check out the playlist in the description if you want to catch the other one or if in the future there are more subscribe if you're not already and all that stuff and i'll see you next time I know.